Pride Independence, a show about the events and, and uh, activities that are going on in Independence Township and the Clarkston area. Uh, today we have, um, our guests are from the Clarkston Garden Club. We have Joan Harbaugh, Karen Bolton, and Anna Thomas, all members Hi. of the club. And in transparency, I have to say, I'm a member also, but uh, we want to talk about this club because it is celebrating a big anniversary this year. So, uh, Joan, tell us about that. Well, this is our 75th anniversary, and most of you ha aren't even, weren't even alive <laughs> 75 years ago. Uh, we, uh, Joyce Figa, who's a longtime member of the club, keeps a scrapbook for us, and, and um, she keeps from all this, the information that's go back to, I guess, 75 years. 1948. 1948. And she gives, uh, the things I remember are probably kind of uh, funny ones. One was uh, the Garden Club didn't want to be in, or the Clarkston people didn't want to be in the Pontiac area directory. So the Garden Club uh, extracted all the Clarkston people and made, a, made their own book. They sold it for five cents. That was, this that is was a phone the, directory? The phone directory oh, yeah. for Clarkston. Just for Clarkston. In the 50s, <laughs> probably, yeah. 40s and, and 50s. Another was that uh, at Depot Park, there's a, uh, a wooden t uh, truck with a big steering wheel on it. And the Garden Club provided that at Depot Park. And if you go there, you'll see all the kids, mm -hmm. they just love to drive that truck. Then I think one other thing that I remember, they, they uh, had a garage sale, and with the proceeds, they put 20-some trees down uh, White Lake Road near the Deer Lake Beach. Uh, can't imagine how much trees cost back then. <laughs> but uh, So that, that's pretty much what I remember about it. Uh, well, there's a lot of beautification, a lot of beautification yeah. things that the Garden Club has uh -huh. done over the years, the mm -hmm. 75 years, and uh -huh. that's, a, that's a real testament to the Garden Club members. Well, let's talk about some of the projects that the Garden Club is still doing, and I think since we've had a library in Clarkston, they have been the uh, planters, uh, the beautification of the library grounds, mm -hmm. whether it was on Main Street um, in the small house at 90 North Main or whether it's moved out to Clarkston Road. So um, anybody want to talk about uh, that? I know that um, I attend Clarkston Community Church and it's just kind of cornered from the library and um, <clears throat> I would go to the, uh, the garden, especially the Jubilee Garden out front sometimes after church just to read because I just thought it was beautiful and I liked the plaques and the things that they've done there and um, before I joined the club I had no idea that this was um, <clears throat> uh, the work of the Garden Club and so now um, I was asked to um, help keep it weeded and watered that Jubilee Garden and uh, it just inspires me more because I was using it ever be even before I was a member of the club and now mm -hmm. I get to help tend that garden. So, yeah. Well Joan you really have a, kind of a, a manage that garden many years. Um. Yeah, it seemed like a lifetime, but uh, <laughs> yes, uh, there are six, six gardens that we maintain, and uh, they all have a different theme, really. One of them, is, one of them was a, uh, a children's garden. It was mm -hmm. a uh, Peter Rabbit garden, and during COVID, we changed that to a uh, butterfly pollinating garden and we have a member in our club, Denise Reinheld, who knows more about pollinating plants than anyone I've ever known. Uh, it, it's, it's wonderful. We have a roots and fruits, which means that it's either their, their medicine, it could the pl plants can be used for medicine. We also have uh, some uh, beautiful uh, roses, which they aren't ours, but the, one was the uh, lady that, um, was I, now her name was Pat, I've forgotten her last name, that was a Rosie the Riveter at, uh, at Willow Run, and there's a beautiful rose that was in her honor there. Well, the, and that is a Rosie the Riveter. And that's the uh, name of the flower, the Rosie, Rosie yes. the Riveter. Mm -hmm. It's uh, right in the front as you're mm -hmm. going into the, the physical part of the library. Um, 
then we have one that was for a Susan Adi, who was a, 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 worked at the library, and one that was for one of the roses that's a memorial rose is for Jean Molson, who was a, a wonderful member of our club, passed away a few years. But the library people that worked at the library were the ones that uh, purchased those. We just planted them and we take care of them. Well, and Jean was a library board member too yes, for many years. Yes, then. She's, uh, so most of that, so that you'll see that uh, uh, Peter, mm -hmm. the old Peter Rabbit garden mm -hmm. or the pollinator garden on mm -hmm. the left as you walk in and the roots to fruits are on the right, as right. The fr at the front with all the roses. Right. And um, Was the Jubilee Garden for the 50th anniversary? 60th. 60th, 60th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And that's, the one, that, years old, yes. that's mm -hmm. the one that is on Clarkston Road. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. the front of the mm -hmm. library. The, yeah. the Clarkston Garden Club uh, purchased the trees. Uh, somebody from the creative Center for Creative Arts uh, put it's, in the, or, or, the you know, I think they, the Garden Club purchased it. That yes, day. they did. Before so. we leave the library, though, um, Joan, there's a couple things that we probably should mention. Uh, the latest edition, the Kaleidoscope, and the honor, the uh, award that was received. Yeah. Do you, you have the detail on that? Yes, right? I think that the award, we t uh, it was two years ago, two, maybe three I now. It's hard to, <laughs> time, time flies. flies. Uh, that with the Lands Michigan Landscaping Association gave us an award for one of the most beautiful gardens. Uh, the kaleidoscope is that uh, Julie Meredith, the director of the library, purchased that after, a, after wanting it for many years, but we keep it planted. So the, the key there then is that if you haven't been to the library, you should go. Absolutely. And if you have children, you should definitely go. The, uh, there's a connection to the library with another activity that we do, uh, which is reading during March March into reading, yes. we read to children and we mm -hmm. use the stories that are connected to the library gardens. So. Yes, there's um, the uh, frog prince, mm -hmm. and as you go in on the right, you'll see the frog prince um, mm -hmm. spurting its water. Yeah. A little when the pump is working, mm -hmm. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> yeah. and, it's being uh, replaced again. And uh, you've got the, um, mm -hmm. oh, the tr uh, tree. Um, the giving, the, giving the giving tree is the there. Tree. Uh, there's a and there's a little plaque by that, mm -hmm. and then there's the butterfly or the secret garden, which mm -hmm. is kind of to the left right. and back, and so pretty pretty good connection of going from beautification to education, which mm -hmm. is another part of our mission, mm -hmm. our purpose. And yeah. a lot of people don't realize that, actually, that education is there. Actually, Anna, the lion's share of our, our profits is spent for education. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, so. and we and can we, talk more about yeah, that if we have time. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. But <coughs> Karen, you've just jumped in with Beth Kudla, and you took over uh, or chairing the um, downtown Flanders, which is another place that uh, people see, right, going right down through Main Street in Clarkston. And you want to tell us about that? I sure would love to. Um, being new to the Garden Club, I uh, was really um, a little hesitant to take on that um, job of co-chairing the downtown planters, and it has been a challenge because we managed um, to um, create plant life for the planters for uh, 27, actually, down Main Street, and that's seasonal. Um, we change it out four times a year, and um, um, and with the expert help of um, the uh, local nurseries and um, just inspiration from gardens we've seen and Pinterest, what and just ideas from the garden club members, we create these planters for the season, and so that takes a lot of uh, work and planning, and then um, getting our team together, the entire garden club uh, does a day of planting and. Um, that is a shared responsibility because once we plant, we also have to maintain those planters for the entire season. Um, they don't just get watered from uh, the water we're receiving because uh, <laughs> it's, it's drought time here in <laughs> Michigan. But so uh, our, we have nine uh, teams that um, um, take over responsibility of three planters each and uh, every week there's members of our garden club with their jugs of water downtown watering um, our plants to keep them uh, beautiful so that everybody in Clarkson can yeah. 
drive through and see them and enjoy them as they're walking down Main Street. And they are beautiful. You Thank guys you. did a great job. Thank yes, you. you did a really great job. And, and it really is the watering. Watering is every week or not every day, but mm -hmm. two or three times a week mm -hmm. and uh, depending on the weather. And um, But a garden club member probably waters six times during the summer or something mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. depending yes. on how they do it. But We take ownership. Yeah, mm -hmm. but right. it's a wonderful, um, it's a wonderful uh, uh, beautification to the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, people will, will say, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Absolutely. And then just a couple of weeks ago, Anna, we had the plan exchange. And right. you want to talk about that because sure. that was, that's a community event too. It's a, a I guess a community event. I wouldn't call it a project, mm -hmm. but a, an event that we sponsor every year. It's the first Saturday in June. Uh, goes real early, about 8.30 in the morning. And how it works is that you dig up a plant in your yard or your garden or your neighbor's garden, wherever you want to find them, <laughs> and you bring it. And then you get to queue up and we go through a sequence of you brought one plant, then you go pick out a plant that's been it takes up the whole front end of the parking lot down on Maine and Washington, I think that is. Mm -hmm. And then it's amazing to me to see people, and especially find people that aren't necessarily from Clarkston who have heard about it, and here they come, and they bring these amazing plants, maybe one that you want for your garden, and then you just get in line and you get it. It lasts maybe, you know, probably a couple hours and it's over. But it's a free event, and it draws a lot of interest. But it's one of the things that we like to do because it is part of what we do, our, our digging and playing in the garden. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the fun, one of the fun things that we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, lot of different things and uh, the, the plants are usually tagged for, um, mm -hmm. and it's the first uh, Saturday in June, June, no matter what. No matter what, rain or shine, 8.30, be there, bring your plants. So Joan, you were talking about uh, lots of things that we were doing uh, for education. So uh, all of you, you mm -hmm. want to share some of those act, uh, those um, projects that we, how we connect with the um, uh, Clarkston schools or the or the kids who live in the Clarkston community. I can start with the Clarkston Family Farms. The last year, our club. Uh, gave the Clarkson Family Farms a grant of $4,000. With that, they brought 2,000 youngsters from schools into a, an outdoor learning class. And, and believe me, when Chelsea O'Brien conducts it, it is, a, it is a class, it is a classroom event. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not mm -hmm. playtime. They don't run around the, the farm, although they do get to see the chickens and the pigs and so forth, but I, I just couldn't imagine how you could do anything to get 2,000 people for $4,000. $4, it's but pretty they did. amazing. They did. The Clarkson Family Farm is certainly an amazing addition to the Clarkson mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. The things that go on there, and I think I feel really privileged that we took it upon ourselves to jump in and be a part of what they're doing. Because mm -hmm. you can see it. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's like you can see the planters. Mm -hmm. You can see what's going on. I, I think five or six years ago, Joette introduced us to that and we kind of poo-pooed it, I think. We didn't, you know, oh, okay, yeah, Joette. That, that, but it is a phenomenal place. It is a wonderful uh, place. Yeah. Well, it, it uh, kind of carries on, I think, it carries on a little bit of the garden clubs. Um, uh, idea of farm work and gardening and uh, mm -hmm. where your where your food uh, comes right. from mm -hmm. and uh, education so and it's you know and somebody somebody else is doing partnerships are a mm -hmm. big thing for right. most organizations right. um, mm -hmm. yeah. so let, uh, but there's some other things I, I would like to say that um, one of the first meetings I attended as uh, as I was considering joining the club was the banquet for the scholarships that we um, provide to students in the Clarkston community and that was last um, June and uh, I was at a table with a, um, a, a boy and his parents and, and he was a recipient and I thought it was so uh, honorable that we uh, provided scholarship money to students who for their academic pursuit and um, actually wanted to join that committee once I got in the club um, to review applicants and just did that this spring for uh, the upcoming um, scholarship banquet that we're going to have 
and um, there's wonderful students that are, are going to receive um, two thousand dollars each uh, from the selection that we made for four students and um, it's just a, a great opportunity to use our funds to support students in their academic pursuit and I was really happy to be a part of that. So these students are high school seniors mm -hmm. from any location, any school in Clarkston community, is that correct? So uh, they can be any student, any student, any student who lives in the Clarkston community schools, okay. but they mm -hmm. can attend other schools. Yeah, so it's, uh, that is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. it, and yeah. I think, I think you know, people go, oh, $2,000, what's that gonna do? But these kids are very appreciative. They mm -hmm. really appreciate mm -hmm. getting that boost and, yeah, you know. and some of them get other scholarships too. Oh, sure. So they're yeah. doing Let's hope. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the big thing is that there is a, a question on there. It's what have you done in the environmental science or mm -hmm. beautification or farm farming? And so S each one of the students who receive a uh, scholarship from us have some connection with that uh, piece. Um, we didn't do many grants this year, right. Joan, but I know you know of some of the many grants that have gone on or Yes, and we're still, the problem is that it requires a, probably more people than we have available to, to uh, what, work on the, with the various But schools. those mini grants are for teachers, so but, yeah. that gives them some, I know we've had, they've grown salmon uh, mm -hmm. at one school, and sometimes they grow vegetables, mm -hmm. I, I'm uh -huh. not sure, that would be beekeeping at the high school. Uh -huh. And I, at, uh, several years ago, I w uh, did the uh, Andersonville School, and we we grew things. We grew. I taught them to grow basil, and we we also worked in there. They have an atrium that needed some work, and so we also worked there. So you, there was a lot of good things. It was fun. And I hope that I think that the idea is to bring it back uh -huh. mm -hmm. as, uh, yeah. as we go forward. As we move forward. So fourth grade, has anybody been to the fourth grade, um, fourth grade assembly? I have. Um, no. Early on when I first joined, um, I participated a lot more in that particular end of it. And we would have a, a naturalist. Um, I don't, I think Indian it's, Springs. I think it's still the same location, Indian mm -hmm. Springs, mm -hmm. but the naturalist change occasionally. So it is the fourth grade class and there's this display, usually of all kinds of things, including pelts, which it was kind of interesting to watch children around this. They were very interested in what he was saying, but they weren't too interested in getting close to some of those pelts that looked no. like a fox or a, a wolf or something <laughs> like that. Them. And then eventually they start to warm up and watching them learn, because he, the gentleman that was there that day was so good and he just knew so much and he talked about all the things that are really native to where we live and mm -hmm. the fact that you might be able to find them in the state of Michigan, maybe not in Clarkston, but definitely it's a, it's a great thing. We, we sponsor it mm -hmm. and so it happens every year and it's fourth grade and I, uh, that's an age, you know, there's a, a, a lot going on in their minds. And uh, I really enjoyed watching that. And I think they get something out of it, for well, sure. Well, it's uh, Michigan Mammals is the title. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's part of their curriculum in the fourth grade. So it kind of connects, connects. But that's another connection we have with mm -hmm. um, Clarkson Schools. And we mentioned um, March into Reading, too, mm -hmm. earlier, which mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. So who would like to talk about the Lonely Bouquet? <laughs> because that's kind of an interesting I can I can share that uh, again. That was that was last summer. That uh, it was at the family farm, Clarkson Family Farm, and that was the day that I became a member. And um, so you uh, all the fa all the Clarkson uh, members of the club uh, brought flowers, whether they were picked from our own gardens or whether you purchased them, and containers, and uh, we created bouquets. Um, for the purpose of um, setting them strategically in town and, and around, um, you know, um, even assisted livings and places, businesses where someone would find one, and that would be um, a way to cheer them up, and it, they could take that bouquet home with them. And um, that was my first really get to getting to get involved that day, and uh, it was really great to uh, be a part of something really big that's going to bring joy to other people's lives. And there's a little note that says, I'm a lonely bouquet, and um, 
uh, you know, pick me up and take me home. And uh, we've had several um, emails and things from people who um, received them, received them, found yeah. them. Mm -hmm. One other thing about that, uh, for people, some people may know if you've lived in other communities, that this is not just a Clarkston activity. It's an this international, is, it's, isn't it? It, I believe it's international. Interna now. It is and international. Yeah. You know, again, we pick up on things that are happening around us and pull them in and make them a part of our organization. And I think. Uh, I have seen some of the people discovering the bouquets, and mm -hmm. yeah. they're they're very appreciative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I looked it up online, and it was uh, initially um, started in Europe or somewhere like mm -hmm. that, and um, and that it is an international day to, yeah. for the lonely bouquets. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's fun. Mm -hmm. So we have these projects, but you know it does cost to bring in a naturalist right. or to give a scholarship um, or to put plants on Main Street. So there's several fundraisers, two or three fundraisers that we have, and um, anyone like to talk about those? Well, we have wreaths and roping, which we sell in late November, um, and we we sell a lot of them. We could always sell more, though. <laughs> For anyone who's watching wants to check us out. Uh, the I think the wreaths and the roping I, at my house they last until I'm sick of them. In Absolutely. April, I, I just throw them off mm -hmm. the deck. I don't want to see them anymore. So they do last, well, they don't, they don't uh, uh, puck. Well, they're, they're long term, well, I guess. They're triple <laughs> mix, I believe. They are right. triple mix, and they're usually um, from, and as far as I know, always from the state yeah. of Michigan. And the thing about them is that we, maybe a nickel or two more than what you can get at Costco, mm -hmm. but you're not only buying a beautiful wreath, you're contributing to the monies that we spend in education and beautification right. for the community. Right. So we find a lot of people who could go somewhere else and buy them, and they, they mm -hmm. buy from us, and we appreciate mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But along the same lines, we also used to have, before COVID, a huge greens market, um, and this was m handmade, beautiful, pieces that people could buy and take home. And we've had to scale that back. COVID really kind of knocked that on its rear and we've had to adjust. And so we now still have handmade beautiful pieces, but they're more on, I would call consignment. We yeah. have a, custom, we order. At, at mm -hmm. custom order, but we still do it. And we're out there every year in that late November time frame doing those kinds of things. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you, we have some highly talented decorator People that just and even there are some decorators skills. that come in that aren't with the, with the club that all come in every year to decorate to, help. Or to, mm -hmm. to uh, put together so so you can uh, look at the um, uh, www.clarkstongardenclub.org and see um, when you these are Christmas arrangements mm -hmm. with natural greens mm -hmm. and um, so they can look at that and um, then. Uh, go to wherever, message wherever they need to to be on the list. In so. addition, you'll see in businesses and around town posters mm -hmm. with the same information on it. Mm -hmm. um, we do handouts, but uh, in today's world, when you see a poster, snap a pic of it and then mm -hmm. put it in your file on that date. We, we can always use more people buying so that we can raise more funds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that kind of brings us to our um, one of our largest. Uh, I, I think the wreath and roping is probably the largest uh, fundraiser. But our next largest is the garden walk that's coming right up in mm -hmm. about a month. Mm -hmm. So, um, share with us some of the information for the garden walk. I would say that um, as a resident of Clarkston before I ever joined the club, and being an avid gardener, I t attended a couple years prior to um, being interested in the club. And I, it was just a great way to get ideas for my own garden. Mm -hmm. And there's usually at least six gardens. And this year, I believe there's six gardens that mm -hmm. are selected Correct. on the walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And within uh, a, a, a working, uh, driving, it's not walking, it's driving. Um, you can um, be mapped out to all six of them. And I bought my ticket at Bordine's Nursery. I know you can do it at Bordine's. Um, Gateway. Gateway and um, the on, on the library, uh, Clarkson Library, or on the line and uh, at our website. And um, actually, in 2021, I went on the walk and um, 
I was anticipating that fall probably retiring and um, each garden had um, garden club members as hostesses that would walk through with you and identify plants and mm -hmm. just um, you know answer your questions and they were so super friendly and I thought oh my gosh this might be this might be something I can do, you know, because I'm going to retire. <laughs> and that was Good. that that was in the summer of 21. Mm -hmm. And by the perennial swap the next June, that's when I was in line and um, met Joyce Figa, who had been in the club for 40 years. And she immediately, when she heard me say, you know, I think I could do this club. And she immediately got me in touch with Diane Putman, who is over um, the um, membership. new membership. And um, that day, um, you know, I got, I began the work of uh, becoming a member, which was a breeze. Mm -hmm. And um, so, but the Garden Walk uh, is very inspiring. It, uh, mm -hmm. It's very creative. Um, actually, I talked about my best friend into showing her home this year on the walk, which is a cottage garden, which has a lot of cottage um, gardens to it and some art flair in it. And Mm -hmm. um, I can't wait to see what the other gardens are going to be like. I can tell you one garden that we had a few years ago. Uh, it's uh, Jim Zelinsky's garden. It actually is a botanical garden. Oh. It's, as it's as nice as any botanical garden I've been to, and I've been to a lot of them mm -hmm. over the <laughs> all, all And he's the joining us again. And he's, uh, yeah, he's got changes to it. So if you're uh, listening to us and you get a ticket, please come out to that garden. It's a, it's a little uh, ways out. You go out to Clarkson Road to uh, Orion Township, so it's, it's on Pine Tree. Say hello, come, say hello to me. I'll be, in the, I'll be in the, there in the afternoon. <laughs> so there's other things that go along with the gardens. Uh, the, the restaurant, uh, you want right. to talk about the restaurant? Sure. Uh, well, just a couple things. One, just, and I, you'll probably touch on it, but the tickets, you mentioned a ticket. When you buy the tickets, if you buy them in advance, they're $15. Mm -hmm. If you wait and want to buy them on the day of, which some people do because they want to see what the weather's going to be like, they're $18. And everything starts at the library. We give you at the library your wristband, which says I can go where I want to in the garden. But then it also says that in the program each year, you'll get a beautiful program. Uh, inside the program will be a list of restaurants in Clarkston that have put together a special for the day. And with your wristband, you can get in and get the special. It might be an hors d'oeuvre, it might be a dessert, it might be a drink, you know, a drink or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it, that comes along with that. The programs, literally, I save them. They are amazing. They have write-ups on the gardens, they have mm -hmm. pictures, they have, and they have information about local businesses, which is really good if you just said, you know, I think I saw something in the program and I mm -hmm. want to go back to it. So, and then, I don't know, is somebody going to talk about the artists and well, uh, no, I, I can go ahead? You are. Our, our gardens, <sighs> always we try to have an artist, someone maybe painting, or mm -hmm. a musician, or even one time it was like almost a band. And it's, um, it's peaceful and it's beautiful. Um, a year ago, I met an artist in, at the Garden Walk. She was there and she was drawing and uh, she, ca she calls herself um, a technical artist, not a creative artist. So, and she, I had her do a, uh, an amazingly beautiful picture of my pup. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and she just, she loves what she does and she sat mm -hmm. there for the entire awesome. four hours that day. Mm -hmm. and, they, and we do have a lot, so you really need to go to each garden to see mm -hmm. all of the artists and, mm -hmm. and that. Yes, and, and then when you're at the uh, library garden or at the library there is an artisan market of the mm -hmm. local talent so mm -hmm. um so bring if extra you, money if you, yes <laughs> bring so there's money. always uh, some uh, items that you might just really like in your garden they're mm -hmm. all sort of garden oriented mostly mm -hmm. and um so there's that piece um and anybody can come to that it's open to the public right and uh, but uh, uh, it's always nice to have the music and the art in those gardens. It just adds a piece really of volunteer. Did we and if you're a time? musician or an artist, you no, just uh, contact us and mm -hmm. we would. Okay. Um, so it kind of leads us back to what um, Karen's Here talking right. about, um, which is, uh, I'm sure you are open for more members? Absolutely. <laughs> well, tell, okay, so, how would you, person, um, I, I mean, 
what is your meetings like? Let's talk about that, and then we'll talk about how people, if they choose, they could become members. But what sure. are uh, meetings that you Gen have? Generally, they're the first Monday in the month, and uh, they're either in the morning at 9.30, that's, that's our social, we have a half hour social time, and the meeting starts at 10, or they're in the evening, and the social time is at 6.30, and the meeting at 7.00. So March um, through December. March we, we through have December. a couple months off. Right, we do take some time off for, to rest up after that busy uh, reason and roll yeah. thing. So. And you have speakers sometimes? And we sometimes have speakers. We also, uh, in the club, we also go to uh, field trips. And I, I tell you what I think about the club is when, you th when you're in a club and people laugh easily and volunteer quickly, you have a good club, and that's mm -hmm. that's what this club is. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and Karen, you're also try you also like to do some of the fun events uh, that uh, the club has had. Well, and I I know uh, I just signed up for I think it's next week we're going to go to is it the Weed Lady? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I, the Weed yeah, Lady, and is. then we're going and then we're going to have lunch at the Laundry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, so that's like um, in addition to our meetings. So, and I you know. And we've been going to a play, the you know the local art, uh, local playhouse here Depot, in Clarkson. Depot Theater. Uh, Depot is it? Depot is Theater. Depot mm -hmm. Theater, and we go, attend a play together as a group, and that's usually um, something fun to do. An evening out, not mm -hmm. necessarily gardening. And it's a fundraiser too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes, yeah, a fundraiser too. I know. So. Also, I went to a uh, private garden that someone uh, uh -huh. uh, in the club had arranged uh, okay. for us to go to one night uh, last summer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, we also do wine on the deck. Uh, that is um, fam. Uh, our, our, I feel like it's part of my family now, the, the, the yeah. women in the club, and, and so, you know, they'll pick a day and say it's wine on the deck, and that, and that way we can enjoy their gardens and just get to know each other better. So, so if anybody wanted to join, what, what, would, they, um, what would they do? Well, they, uh, the easy way probably is to go out to the website, mm -hmm. and there's an application, and the website is uh, www.clarkstongarden. Mm -hmm club.org and that is where we have an application plus there are phone numbers there are people or if you know one of us or if you know someone in the club certainly tell them you're interested we are always looking for new members mm -hmm. um, we want to have more members and you know Karen has just been an amazing add to our mm -hmm. group um, always smiling, always involved, always volunteering, yeah. which is like Joan said, that's the, the best thing about a club is to have Thank people you. that want to work. But I think the best way would be to get your application off the website. And, and then actually, I do know younger people that are still working or have raising their family that I can see I would love to recruit that love gardening. And we, we do have this uh, Blooms, which mm -hmm. is another way that you can join but not have the full commitment. Uh, and I don't know if anybody else can speak to that better, but uh, for those that just want to get get it started, but know they can't make a full commitment, that's an opportunity. Right. And they can they can they can do things when they have the time absolutely. to do it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And we also have a uh, there's a Clarkston Garden Club at gmail.com, so that's another way to oh, yeah. um, right. and that. Mm -hmm. So anything else? Uh, Karen mentioned I don't know that we said enough times that the garden walk. Coming up is July 19th, it's mm -hmm. a Wednesday. Starts at 11, ends at seven. So if you are working and you can't be there at 11, there's still time. You can go, it takes a, eh, probably three hours if you do everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But some of the gardens will be quick and some you'll want to spend time. We hope you join us because it's a, it's a wonderful uh, opportunity yeah. to support Clarkson's um, We'll be looking for you. Yeah. Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today. And um, good luck with your work, each of you. And you. Uh, for the viewers, we hope that you enjoy Main Street and the color in the planters. Or as you go to the library, um, the there are six gardens around the library. Uh, you don't maybe see them. Uh, in, each but there are six groups so so people don't have to work on the whole library we just kind of um, pick and choose which area that would uh, 
be good for us. So, um, and uh, you know, pick up that application and come right. to the Garden Walk. So. Yes, join us. We'd love to have you. Thanks. Thank you.